Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about One Hand Operation Plus, but really just a couple key areas, a couple tips and tricks that I would love to share with you guys on how I have mine set up so you can get the best use of this application on your Samsung phone. Now there's a lot to unpack here, so I might save this full review, the full in-depth look for my main channel of Jimmy is Promo. So here on Siam, Samsung in a minute. I just want to show you how you can get this one downloaded and also set up. So first off, you can go inside of the Play Store. You can search for One Hand Operation Plus there, get it installed. You'd also be able to find it inside of Goodlock as well as the Galaxy Store. So really, you can get this thing everywhere. Now, once you have it downloaded, when you open up the One Hand Operation Plus, these are just a few key things I do want to show you. So first off, what you'll be able to notice is this little colored area. And this is just letting you know, you know, the size of where you want basically this to work. Now, because I am used to the, the Android 10 gestures, I'd be able to swipe anywhere on the left or the right hand side to go back. Obviously, it's still gonna work when you do swipe up. Um, but how I have mine set up here is that I do have it going all the way to the very top. So I have this option here all the way to large. My touch width, I don't really need it to be all the way in there. I do wanna have it pretty small because I always go from the very edge anyways. Then what you wanna do is underneath the left handle and right handle, on the left handle, I only have one thing set up. So you can set it up where you have the diagonal up, diagonal down, things like that, long swipe. And so I just kind of leave it to where I do the straight right, you know, into the screen and it's used as the back key. So simply I can just do that. Now the other two, I just kept alone. Uh, so then this way, if you want to set it up just like me, you can. Now on the right hand side, you can see that there's two that is set up. Now inside of here, how I have this one set up is again, when you, go, when you do that straight left, it's just going to be the back key. Now there's a lot of options you can do forward, open notifications panel, screen off, so many cool things. But I found the best is gonna be when you do the left, I don't really do anything when I go diagonal up. I can always maybe have that to maybe turn off the screen. Um, but with the diagonal down, this is going to be task switcher. So this is something that's all the way to the very bottom. And with the task switcher, how it looks is when you swipe over. So you can see here, I got this little arrow, but when I go down, so then this way, when you go down, what you're going to notice is that this is the task switcher. It's actually super cool to go in between different applications like this. So when you swipe down, you hit on Spotify. Uh, again, if you swipe down one more time, you just go right inside of YouTube. You can swipe down one more time. You can head inside of something else. I mean, it's actually really fast. It's actually a little bit more faster than trying to swipe up and hold to get into your recent applications. Also, the cool thing too is like, let's say for YouTube, when you tap on the icon, you only have a few options right there. But if you were to swipe down and you go on the very left-hand side, you tap those three little dots, you have multiple things. You can explore, you can search, or you can just go directly inside of your subscriptions. So here's a couple other things you can do really fast is let's say, for Spotify, you'd be able to look at uh, any of these different play playlists that you have. So you can search for a song. You can play an artist you just recently listened to. I can go inside of my Spring Vibes or I can go inside of 90s Alternative Rock. So this is a really cool application uh, that you're able to really you know play with. And I guess the very last thing would probably have to be inside of the advanced features for the animation. You can have it as a, just a regular arrow, but all I did was I, I left it as the curved line because it actually looks pretty cool. You have that little curved line sitting right there, but then I just changed my arrow to be blue. So that's all I really wanted to show off. You can see that there's so many things we can probably go over. This video is probably over two or three minutes easily, which usually two or three minutes is usually my target. So I'll probably place the full video of this on Jimmy as promo. But if you guys appreciated this thing, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll